Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Monty. Today I am going to do a um, tutorial craft with me um, to show you guys how I made this um, uh, mail trick mini album. Um, it's just a flat piece, It's, um, but I made mine into um, kind of a Kind of a pocket I guess not really a pocket but <clears throat> I'll show you what I made <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to put it together so these are the two that I already have done and that I'm going to show you how to put together my as I'm putting together my third one so this is using the um, Mail Trek mini album from Scrap David Designs from the April release this is like the first thing I made I made one and um, so I wanted to do do a tutorial for you guys so I've got the second one done these are actually um, going out in for a swap that I'm participating in with Patty mommy and me crafts it's for her um, uh, I can't remember it's called spring fling or something it's a flower you just exchanging flowers and you have to package it in something cute and um, so this is how I did mine so this one's all I, this one it, it's all wrapped up with this um, these things I got from Timu um, and I attached some um, cute little charms, flower charms that I had purchased from them also. Um, anyway, I, I attached them here and then just, just wraps around um, and then hooks to keep it closed because this is what it looks like without the wrap. So you just open it up and there's all my flowers that I am sending um, inside. And so then I didn't want, I want to stay closed didn't want to take a chance of it opening in, in transit or something and getting you know ruined so and then I also on the back attached a cute little pocket um, I use the also a die from scrap baby designs it's the um, what's it called it is called the loaded pocket um, and it's the medium size so I made a little pocket attached to the back so I could she said no goodies but you know I can never just not send any goodies so there's just a couple little things I attached in there and I put them in the pocket so you know the whole thing will be wrapped up together it should be easy to um, you know to put in some kind of um, bag or something to send that way so these are the two that I've already made so I thought we'd put together this last one real quick so I can show you how I did it <clears throat> I don't know how in depth I'll go on this um, <laughs> It's funny because I was just getting ready to come down and do this video. I'm going to be putting it up the same day I'm publishing it. And <laughs> I was watching some videos from other people today. And I noticed Patty, <laughs> Mommy and Me Crafts, she was she did a tutorial on what she did. And she made a, like a pocket. Um, so it was really cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the same thing I'm doing. Um, kind of. Similar. But then that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes design team members have the same types of ideas so anyway what we're doing I cut out the base okay out of this pink so this is the base piece and it's 110 pound cardstock um, I always use that as my base when I'm making something especially a 3d project to give it I mean this is sturdy 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 it stands up it's not flimsy so that's um, what I always do so this is going to be the front, and then this is going to layer on here, okay, here is going to be the back, okay, and then this piece, so mine's going to be attached to the top, how mine opens up like this, so for in here, I needed a piece that I had to mirror, okay, so I turned the other direction so it will be um, facing Let's see, did I do it wrong? Oh, this is gonna be my back piece. Okay, so that's why I had to make it like that, okay? And then this piece is going to be for the inside, which you can see right here on this. Um, this is the back part of the inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is I cut a strip um, that is three inches long by one inch. And then I scored it one quarter inch and at three quarters of an inch to make this little um, thing to attach my two pieces to. 
Now, if you decide to make this, don't do what I did. <laughs> I thought, okay, I'm gonna layer up all my pieces, so I put these all together, layered them all up, glued them all down, and then I realized I needed to stick this in here, and I forgot to do that, and I actually, I actually did it twice. I had to peel up the paper <laughs> and stick it down in there. So you wanna make sure you attach this first. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these. Let me make sure I stay in frame here. I'm gonna try and go as fast as I can so it won't be so long, but um, I did do all the pieces so that um, I could go ahead and decorate and stuff on camera too, but I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. It just depends on how long it's getting. Okay, so I'm gluing this one flap to the top. I want to make sure that I have it to where this still folds easy. You know, like kind of like put fold it over to make sure you got it lined up right. Um, for the um, so this gives you the space in between for the flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna attach that, and now I'm gonna go ahead and layer do my layering piece on top. So you know it's the layering piece because it has the window cut out and it's a little bit smaller, of course, and it has the stitching. Erica's great about that. Your layering pieces almost always have stitching, so that's how you know it's a layering piece. Okay, and then we're just going to line this up and put it down there. Okay. So there's my front piece. Okay, now here's going to be my back piece. So I'm going to go ahead and attach um, this back piece right here to that, okay? And I'm actually going to attach it in here, inside here. So I'm going to do the first layer. So I'll attach it on the inside of this piece, and then this will go over the top of it to cover it, okay? So let's glue this one up. Okay. So then I'm going to try it and get it lined up. Um, I'm going to try and lay it down and get it hooked so that it, so I can, um, like, make sure that I get it even with the front piece so that it will stand up and, you know, look good with it. So I'm just going to kind of put it like that, kind of slide it. That's where this, um, you know, like liquid glue comes in better for this kind of thing because you can still slide if you have to maneuver a little bit as opposed to, you know, like um, double-sided tape or something, which I use that also sometimes, but um, usually what I do is I put it on, but then I put some liquid glue on top of it just so it kind of gives it like a double thing, especially when I'm doing like albums or, you know, 3D projects like this that pieces are going to move. I, a lot of times we'll, we'll do that then, but I put some liquid glue on top of it so that um, it can move around when I first put it on, um, but then gives it a little bit of extra stability once, you know, once it's down. Okay, so it looks like I got it lined up pretty good. It stands up. Okay, so now I'm ready to add this piece, which you can see there's no wind on this piece. This is um, one of the base pieces. Where it is the base piece. It's the same thing I cut out the um, pink 110 pound card stock with. Okay. And then I'm just gonna open that up and I'm gonna place that right over. So you see this will line up exactly with the pink because it's the same one. It's the same piece that I'm cutting. Okay. All right. Okay, next up, we are going to put the door on there. You can see I have my door right here, and I, I made my door, my window in my door, a shaker. So, what I need to do is so here's my door. Okay. Um, I have it up on foam, so I have lots of dimension on the front of mine. I'll turn it so you can see. So you can see kind of that, you know, these are lifted up. Um, almost everything is raised up on foam, and I cut all these pieces out of foam too, not 
I'm not going to piece together, you know, like foam squares or anything. I just cut them all out of foam. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to um, layer this on top of it and get this um, get the glue dry. Okay. So, of course, you don't have to make a shaker. I just did because, you know, it was there and it was easy. Just wanted to get a little, give it a little extra something. Okay. Mark down right there. Be drying. Okay, now for, <coughs> excuse me, for the window part. I also cut it out of foam and then I have my little let's see where's my my frame for this one so my frame for this one is going to be um, this whoopsie sorry is going to be this um, pink piece that's going to layer on top of the green okay and you can see, if you didn't notice, this isn't perfectly square. It's um, kind of a funky, it's a little bit larger on the top than it is on the bottom. Okay, so make sure you line it up right when you get it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece to a piece of acetate. So I'm just going to glue this down. I'm being very messy with the glue. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take this and put it down here on my acetate. Okay. I'm just going to stick that right there. Okay. I'm going to put this at that kind of sit down for a second. Okay, now I'm going to take my door and I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Um, <laughs> almost attach it to the wrong place. So I'm just going to attach it right here. I put it almost to the bottom. Like that. And kind of centered. I just kind of put it in between the two, you know, the, the, the two wheels. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that down. between here almost down to the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and press down so that is there okay let's set that on top again let's take this off Ooh. and now I'm just gonna take this and take my scissors and trim around it in frame. Okay, so that's done. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to take it and glue it to my foam piece. And then it will be ready to put down on there. Okay, so let's put some glue right here on the foam piece. Of course, I got some on here, of course. <laughs> getting it all over. <clears throat> okay. Put that under there, let it 
dry. <clears throat> now, while I'm finishing waiting for this to dry, I'm going to go ahead and go up, uh, mount the other window. Okay, and I cut out this piece of the window, of the window, and then I also cut a foam piece so it will be raised up even though it's not um, a shaker. But it's still going to give it some dimension. And attach it right there. And then I'll go ahead and glue the put some glue on the back. And go ahead and mount that to the window. Okay, just kind of line it up. Put that right there so that gets down easy. Okay, now I am ready for a little bit of sequins. This is just a sequin mix I had on my desk. It matches, so I'm using it. <laughs> and I didn't mean to put that much in there because it's not a very big space. Get some of these back up out of here. Okay, sorry, um, that whistling is Skittles. He's trying to get in on the video too, which he always does. <clears throat> okay, so I got my sequins in there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put um, glue on the back of this piece and I'm going to go ahead and just lock that down on top right there and there is my shaker window for my door okay all right next I am ready for the wheels okay and I also cut those out of foam and the pattern paper to cover it up with okay I'm gonna put that there okay put this under here for a minute okay now I'm gonna get the smaller piece it comes with two you can see right here the two layers. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on this piece and then the pattern paper on top of that. Put again under here. Let it get a good press down and now we'll do the other set of wheels. This makes such a cute little mini album. And I've seen, like I said, Patty made a pocket out of hers, I think it was. I've seen people making a box. Somebody else made a box. Um, yeah, lots of cute ideas for this thing. Um, let's go ahead. I'm waiting for that to dry real quick. I'm going to go ahead and place these kind of little, like, it's kind of like a partial circle. This is the, like, the headlight right up here on the front. And it's a little bit different shape than the back tail light. And you'll be able to tell that when you see the, you know, on the die set. So that just goes right here. Cut this out of glitter paper. Kind of a, you know, the same color as this, you know, this polka dot paper. So I got that right there. And then this piece, little piece right here, if I can 
pick it up. Okay, so this little piece, is, you can see it's a little bit different shaped. This is the rear, this is the tail light that goes right here. Now there's some other pieces. Um, I didn't use them on here. I used the wheels and I used the lights, the door and the window. There are um, like uh, bumper pieces and stuff that you can put on here to go like here and here and across. Um, I didn't use any of those. Mine was already pretty busy the way it was, so. Okay, so I got those two down. Let's go ahead and grab a set of these and we're gonna go ahead and glue this down. Glue the wheel down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that right there. A little, little bit of the pink show. So just kind of centered in there. Okay, and then we're gonna center this smaller piece in the middle here. Okay, and then we will do the same thing for this one. So once you get the pieces um, cut out, um, it goes really quickly together. There's not a ton of pieces with this die set either. So it's not a ton of, you know, paper piecing that you have to do. There are some, but you could you see how fast this goes. And this is my third one. Like I say, I did the first one, knowing that that's, that's what I wanted to send my flower swap in. When I saw it, I was like, okay, this is perfect. I'm sending my flowers, my flowers in this mail truck. And so I made the first one, um, you know, put it all together, make sure I liked it, liked it and everything. And I loved it. And so, um, once I did that, then I just went through and cut everything else out again, two times. So that I had, you know, enough to do two more. So I put that one together and I just saved this last one to do a tutorial for you guys. Um, so there's my wheels, got my door and my window on, um, got my lights. Okay. Now, Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take this off. Now up here, here I made a, a flower. This is using the Scrap Diva um, Edge Flower die set. So I made one of those to attach there. Where is it? I set it up here. I kind of set everything to the side that I was going to be using once I got it all cut. Okay, I'm just going to put a bunch of glue right there, and I'm just going to kind of put this you know, up here on the top and kind of covering the window a little bit just to give a little interest right here. Okay. And then um, I cut the words Happy Mail. Now, with the truck, the truck comes with the word mail. This Happy Mail part I used from another set from the same release. It's part of the... Um, which part is it? Which set is it part of? It's part of the... <laughs> Let me find it for you. Um, yeah, okay, happy. Okay, it's part of this set, which is called the swap bag envelope. So the, you know, both those words come with, come with that set. So that's the words I used for this. But you do get a word, the mail word with the truck set. Um, so I could have just used that, but I went ahead and um, used the, you know, the happy mail set from the other, the other die set since I had them both. So again, foam for the, um, so it will have some dimension. And I put the background, uh, the shadow piece. Okay. I didn't lose it. Oh, here we go. Okay, and then um, I cut the words out of this other paper. So here's my um, my word. So what I'm going to do is hopefully I cut this all the way through. I didn't check that. Okay, so here's my word mail that I cut out of the other, the pink paper. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of that. I have to do a fair amount because 
This is going on top of glitter paper, and you know how hard it is to get stuff to stick to glitter paper. So I'm going to go like that. Am I in frame? No, that's not in frame. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's the word mail. Okay, little tip for you, what I do. So, the dot for the eye is always hard to get lined up and sometimes you lose it. And so what I usually do is put this back over and put it right in place where it would be. And then I put a little drop of glue right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this piece <laughs> And I'm going to get it back up here, my little fingertips, and I'm going to put it back in place. So they're very hard not to lose. So a lot of times when I cut out words, you know, letters and stuff, I try to not, try to keep them in, you know, in the, um, not, not push them out, keep them in the paper that I cut them from until I get to the spot that I, so I don't lose them. So then I just take a pin or something, the head of this thing, and just kind of push it down. Ah, oh. well, it's because it's glitter paper. So usually it just stays right in place. But because it was glitter paper, it didn't. But anyway, that's my tip on how you get these to line up and be, and sometimes when you're putting words together, like it's if the individual letters aren't, um, aren't welded together, um, and it's hard to get them, you know, in line and straight and everything, just use the negative space and lay it back down and put all of them back in and that makes it very easy. I'm going to put that on top right there so that's getting stuck down and now we'll go ahead and glue, glue the happy together. So I got my foam piece and the cut out of the shadow and then my glitter piece out of the shadow. Okay, and then my word happy, it's over here, so let's glue this. I'm trying to get this glue on these small areas. It, oh, good thing I had that block there it would have landed on my paper okay there we go okay we'll put these both right there all right this should be good right here so we're gonna continue to let these kind of sit down here and get dried Okay, um, next thing, let's go ahead. I made little flowers for my wheels instead of, they, it comes with some hearts and stuff too. You could have put a heart like for the center of the wheel if you wanted or whatever, but I decided since it was a flower truck, it was gonna be hearts. And I used this little punch right here that I've had in my stash since I very first started crafting. And I made these little flowers out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those in the centers of the of the wheels. Okay. All right, get the other one. So that goes like that. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and put the bow. So I made a bow. This is using um, Scrap Diva's double loop bow, which I love. It's my favorite bow. So I made it out of some of the paper from the collection too. And then I used one of the um, blingy things. I, I, by the way, I'm using Chasing Dreams, if you hadn't noticed. Um, I used um, one of the gems from that and I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, um, let's see, I think I put, did I put that on foam? Yeah, I did. I figured I did, but I couldn't remember for sure. So let's get a piece of foam and put it back here. Now this, um, this, the bottom part, the, the tail part of the bow, 
it goes out straight. I just cut it in half and then made it so it came out, you know, pointed down to the bottom. Peel this off, put a little bit of glue on there, and then we're just going to Just kind of angle that right there to give some interest over here. Okay. All right, and then next I am ready to do some of the flowers up here. And this, what I did here was I used um, the Scrap Diva. Um, this is one of my favorite dyes. I use this all the time. It's the Capsella leaves. Love it. So I cut this, I kind of cut a piece of off it was a little bit longer, so I'm just going to kind of attach these here, a little bit of glue on the back of them, I'm not going to attach them all the way down, um, I'm going to let them, you know, just kind of hang up, stick up there so they can bend and move a little bit, give them you know, more di dimension, same thing here, a little bit here and here. Just kind of put this up here a little bit. <clears throat> and then same thing here. And I'm going to put this kind of coming down um, this direction a little bit. Okay, and then I have some of the pink ones also. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna and these these what in this set there's a couple that are hooked together and there's a few singles but I just went ahead and used the ones and I just cut them apart all the time so okay, if I remember right I need to cut off a little bit more of these a little bit of glue and I'm just gonna kind of you know stick them in between the the aqua ones. <clears throat> Ooh. Slipped out of my hand. Okay, just gonna kind of put this one right, coming up here a little bit. Then the last one, it's gonna kind of hang down the bottom. it hang like way down down here okay so now I have a bunch of them all kind of just layered up there and now I'm going to take my happy meal and layer it on top of there okay I'm going to do the mail first just so I don't make sure I leave my um, don't leave my <laughs> to make sure I leave my enough <laughs> leave myself enough space in between the wheel um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Okay, and then I'll put some glue on the back of the happy. Okay, and I'm just going to put that up here across the, the leaves also. So that's kind of holding down the leaves a bit also. Okay. And then next up is these tiny, tiny, tiny little flowers, these little black and white ones. These I made with this tiny little punch. This one I got not too long ago. I don't even know why I bought it. I think I was just looking, just wanting to buy something. <laughs> anyway, it's a 0.375 inch little um, punch. So it's a tiny, tiny flower. So there's three layers um, for each of these flowers. And I just, you know, cut three layers and glue them together, you know, offset them, glue them, kind of um, round them up like this a little bit. And then I just put a little tiny little, um, you know, gold foam balls from um, Dollar Tree. Like that. Okay, so then I'm just going to put some of those around here on the leaves like I have over here, over here. Okay. <clears throat> and put we'll put one there. Okay. 
I'm gonna put one maybe up here. Oopsie. Stuck to my finger. Put one up here. And then we'll do one more down a little bit lower again. Okay. And maybe over here. About like that. Oops. So that's already right there. And then the, I think it's the last thing I did to decorate was, uh, I attached like up here, this um, butterfly. These were some butterflies I had in my stash that I've had forever. Didn't use them, I never used them. I think because they had the silver and I didn't like the silver. So what I did was I peeled them all apart <laughs> and I redid it with some gold, just some plain gold um, paper clips. So. Now I've used up the whole thing now, <laughs> just because, just by tra changing out that. So, and then I just kind of um, tuck this behind here. And so the leaves kind of go up over and this butterfly is just kind of flying out there to the side. Let's see, I don't want that to push up that flower. There we go. Okay. So there is all of the outside of the truck. So that was pretty fast. Okay. Now the next thing for me to do with my with my project is um, where's my acetate piece? Okay. So I use the bottom layer um, to cut out a piece of acetate. So this is the one that doesn't have the window. So I just cut the plain piece. Okay. Now, hopefully everything is down enough, secure enough that I won't mess anything up by flipping this over. I have to be careful, but anyway. Okay, so this is just gonna line up exactly with this, okay? And what I did was, um, I took some sticky dots, because they're fairly easy to remove, so I just, I just attach the acetate with two sticky dots and then I'll, and I'll just make sure that I put a flower over, I'll just put like two, put like one there, get it lined up, okay, and then I'll put another one, on the other side, and then that way after the swap, um, you know, whoever gets these, um, we'll be able just to pull this up and then the the, the, um, the flowers were all are gonna all be attached onto here. Okay, so those I'll get there. Okay, now what I also did was I showed you guys was I I cut the um, the pocket for the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that real quick right now before I do the flowers. So it just folds on all the score marks. It's very easy to see, very fold very easy. I love this. I use these pockets all the time and I have, you know, all three sizes, the small, medium, and large, and so it makes it real nice for a bunch of different projects and you can use them separately. I've even um, layered <laughs> different sizes of pockets on top of the other sizes of pockets. It's it's really nice, so. Uh, let's see, where's my bone folder? Okay, here we go. Press this down. Okay. So now let's carefully flip this over. I'm gonna put some glue on this edge that folds down. That's how you attach it. Okay, I'm going to put it, hang on, I'm going to put my little, um, you know, my made by sign down there on the bottom like I did on the other one, so I want to make sure that I space it out 
good. So I put this right on the very bottom between the wheels like that. So I get that lined up right. And then I'm going to place this right above it. Okay. And these little things I'll just kind of tuck in underneath there. Okay. And I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of stick it in between this fold here and get these edges to start, or get these pockets to start laying down these flaps. Hopefully I'm not messing up on anything on the front. No, it looks okay so far. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so then what I did, <clears throat> so here's my, one of my other ones that's already finished. I am gifting some of this, um, this really pretty um, ribbon that says handmade thought that would be a fun little thing. I used one of the um, stamp and die set from Scrap Diva on this to the set here. It has the die. Love that. Love that heart die with the little dots all around. It's called Postage Stamp and Die Set. And then it comes with all kinds of fun sayings. Fun, let's see. You know, little sentiments that are on the, um, that are on the hearts. You got sent with love, love mail, Swap mail, happy mail, loaded with love, you are loved, miss you, hello friend, and created with love. So lots of fun sayings there. I stamped mine with swap mail, okay, and I just put the thing up there on. I attached it with one of these cute little pins. And so I have that in there, just as a little extra little gift without making, you know, a big gift. <laughs> and then I also have cute little um, uh, envelopes I had in my stash. I'm also gifting, I made some, um, I've been using my button maker, just having fun with that. So I made some of the um, button ones and I cut out um, a rosette out of, with another die that I had in my stash with this you know, scallop circle and then I attached here. So I'm not decorating them, I'm just gonna gift these so they can decorate them however they want. And then this is one of the puffy stickers that you can use now in your um, button maker. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm a, I'm gifting both of those two things in this little baggie. And then um, I just kind of folded it over. And then I attached one of the clear stickers from Chasing Dreams to close it up. Okay. And then I'm just sticking that down inside there also. So now I have my truck. It's going to have all my flowers inside and then my goodies in the back and then it will all be you know wrapped together closed with that so now the, the last thing to do is attach the flowers so I have all these flowers I made you had to send in 12 flowers and they had to be um, all um, plain uh, pastels and they all had to be uh, one color. She didn't want pattern paper, okay? So I made a few different styles of flowers. Um, they're all Scrap Diva other than the tiny ones that I used, that I, like I showed you on the, on the outside of the thing. So um, this one's the Edge Flower, which is my favorite flower so far. This one, um, remember what the name of that one is um, I'll link it I can't remember what it is but it has these little um, uh, circles and so I um, stitched I used the embroidery thread and stitched through each of the dies back to the center and I just think those turned out so pretty it 
was more time consuming, me of course so i just did two of each two of those so i got a smaller one and a larger one and then this one's uh layered up on the back with some uh, uh vellum <laughs> then this is the edge flower these ones here the pink ones are the sakura, sakura flower which is a pretty one also um and it comes to different sizes um so i made a bunch of different sizes of those and this one i put the little balls in the little gold balls this one has one of the big gold balls from uh probably the dollar tree and then this these yellow ones um i put these cute little white stamens in and i threaded them up from the bottom and then i edged all these all the yellow ones with um uh, stickles so they're kind of sparkly these pink ones are cut out of a pink glittery like a light very light glittered um pink cardstock but then i also um inked them up a little bit so that's that. So I'm just gonna start, you know, like um, placing, placing them around. Okay, so I'll just kind of place them around different spots, kind of spread them out. So what I'm gonna do, I think I won't do that on camera because that'll take too, it took a while. And then I made a bunch of these other little tiny flowers that I shared with you on the front, this with the, from the punches. And so, you know, there ends up being more than than 12 flowers, but I thought that would just be a fun little extra to add in there. So I got some of the, of both sizes that I'm kind of sticking in there. So it'll be arranged kind of like this, just like I showed you in the other one. I think I put one down here on each center, like of the wheel, like that. And yeah, I'm just gonna fill in the, more of the space, blank spaces with those. And then this will be oh, just about ready for me to package up and send off in time for this one. So, hope you guys liked this project. It was so fun and what a fun way. I just wanted some fun way um, to package it. You know, a lot of patty swaps are um, fairly simple as far as what you're sending, but um, she always likes to make sure that you have really fun, you know fancy um packaging you know so much of what we do is you know the presentation and so um to make it look super fun super cute um to make some kind of fun packaging for it so that's what this one will be look like and just like the others and then when i get that added in i will be taking this necklace thing that i got from timu and wrapping it around there to close it together and then they can use this for whatever they want and they can take these charms off so they got three little cute little um flower charms that are going to be hanging off there not will be wrapped around just like in this one so i think it turned out so cute love it that's what it looks like from the top okay if you guys have any questions um just message me hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you thought um hopefully you liked the tutorial hopefully i did it quick enough i was trying to have everything i could ready pre-made so that I could do it as quick, but I didn't want to just, you know, I wanted to do the whole thing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.